What's up YouTube, it's Ben and let's talk about branding. All right, so there are three major elements to your brand as a recruiting or staffing agency and they all need to be on point. Before I touch on those three elements, I definitely wanna let you know you should be in our Recruiter Empire Facebook group, link in description of this video for plenty more tips and interaction and engagement all about branding and everything about recruiting and staffing. All right, so number one in branding, who are you? What does your name, your logo, your LinkedIn, your website, I could go on and on. What do all these things say about who you are as a brand? Okay, so let's break that down just a little bit. So if you're in healthcare, right, and you're recruiting healthcare professionals, that is your niche, that's your brand. Everything in those elements, LinkedIn, website, all of your profiles, that needs to reflect healthcare. If that's what you're mainly doing, you need to reflect every single element of that inside of your brand. For example, your website should have some sort of medical terminology on it. You should have a lot of focus on medical, right? Maybe some symbols that reflect medical, healthcare, etc. All of that, that should match your website. Let's talk about LinkedIn, your LinkedIn, all the way from the cover photo to your headline to your bio section should reflect everything about who you are, who you serve, and why you serve them. Every single thing about your brand should be congruent with exactly what you wanna tell the world about your business. All of these items will become critical as they come together to actually get clients or prospects to understand who you are, what you do, why you do it, and eventually do business with you. All right, so the second element of your brand is I wanna mention your narrative, otherwise known as your why. Every single successful business has a narrative. They have a story. They have something of origin. They have something that grounds their business. What I mean by this is you should have something that tells clients or prospects or anybody for that matter, why you do what you do and why you chose to do that, what motivates you to keep doing that and exactly what satisfaction you get out of it, right? This tells people a lot about your brand. I mean, this is the part that's refreshing about any business that anyone does business with outside of recruiting. It doesn't matter the values, the mission, right? Everything about that is refreshing. And if you can make it as clear as day as to why you do it, what motivates you to do it, and where it all came from, you're gonna be more and more refreshing than everybody else. Just for example, if you can show that your brand has a genuine mission, right? Genuine core values, and you come from a genuine place, that builds trust which creates more business transactions for you. All right, so number three, the last one I wanna to mention to you is brand awareness. All right, so once you have your brand all dialed in and set up and everything's perfect for you, right? You need people to know about your brand. And this is where content is king. You should be creating content on any platform where you know your clients already exist, already hang out. You should create content around your niche, around the labor market, around whatever it is specifically that you think is gonna hit a strike with your prospects, with your clients on those platforms. If that happens to be LinkedIn, start writing LinkedIn articles and post them consistently about your niche or about something that's happening in the market that you're in and people will take notice, trust me. If that happens to be YouTube, start making YouTube videos about your brand. Start making YouTube videos about different changes in the market. Again, like I said, same thing, but also be consistent about it, right? And make these videos specific, genuine, and real, reflecting your brand, and also speaking subliminally to your prospects. Maybe it's a newsletter, maybe it's a blog, maybe it's Instagram. Honestly, the platform becomes irrelevant once you know where your clients and your prospects are. It's pretty easy to identify where those people hang out, who exactly is your ideal customer, and where can you find them. That's where you make the content, right? Now, the more difficult part comes next. The most important part about brand awareness is consistency. For example, you will not be successful making one article on LinkedIn maybe once a month for your prospects and clients to read. You will not be successful putting out a YouTube video about trends in the market in your niche maybe once a month or maybe twice a month. That will not be successful. Brand awareness requires consistency. 
This is an area where I can assure you it is all about volume. More is more when it comes to content. So once you've branded the proper way, created a proper narrative, and made yourself brand aware, putting yourself out there consistently, just let the engagement happen naturally. All right, guys, I hope this video is valuable and helpful for you. If so, please smash that like button. Again, also join our Facebook group, Recruiter Empire, link in description, and I will see you next time.